Welcome to Digital Toolbox. I'm Scott and today we're going to go over the move, rotate, copy, and scale commands in Rhino. So here I have a basic object in uh, at the origin and move is uh, basically just click and drag. You can if you just click and drag uh, it moves wherever your cursor is. Uh, the move command is better if you're, you want to be more exact so move, select the object you want, enter, and then if you uh, um, click it on a specific point it'll move r with respect to that point. So I usually select an endpoint with snap on and then put that endpoint at uh, the next spot that I want to move it to. The rotate command select the object to rotate and then it asks for the center of rotation so if you are looking at it in the uh, top view you can put it exactly in the center if you have the center uh, object snap displayed or you can do it towards uh, one of the ends so if you do it towards the end it pivots around the first section point and follows the second The next is copy. So if I want to copy this object, the copy command first asks point to copy from. So this is the same same thing, just like move or rotate. Select uh, some point. I usually do an end point, but you could do middle or center or whatever. And then you can hold down shift to ortho snap and then it'll just place it wherever you selected that original point from. With the copy button you can kind of simplify your uh, workflow by using the options in the command line. So again I'll do copy and then it'll ask for vertical, no, or in place. You can select those if you want to copy it vertically uh, which means 90 degrees to the uh, CP plane or just in place. So I'll just select the endpoint and I can um, I'll just copy it over here. If I want to use that last point as opposed to the the original point that I selected, I can just select use last point. I can use last distance, select yes to use that same distance that I originally copied it from with uh, without having to hold down any buttons and then use last direction too so I can select that and it copies it in that the last direction so I had a little bit of an angle and it'll continue to uh, use that angle as I copy more of them so the last command we're going to go over is scale. So I'll go back to just our original box here. The scale command, uh, just scale by itself, is a 3D scale. So I can select anywhere and select another reference point and it'll scale three-dimensionally equally you can put in a uh, you know scale 2 is 200 percent or 0.5 would scale at half so it's great for models or any types of drawings or anything that you want to do uh, three-dimensionally one of the ones that uh, I use probably the most is the scale 1D you can select the origin point and then a uh, reference point and it'll scale only in that axis. So that's great for uh, elongating faces or chopping off things only in one direction where you want the other two to remain the same. Now be careful with that if uh, you're doing that in a perspective view and you have uh, object snap on. If you don't specify from end to end but rather end to midpoint and start to scale it with respect to that axis, you'll uh, start to kind of skew your object, 
you get some racking. So that's one, th one thing to think about. Uh, the next is scale 2D. You can see this probably better in uh, a different viewport. So in the top view, we can scale uh, the X and Y axis with keeping keeping the, the Z direction the same. So there's at least one more. There's scale edge, which is just to scale one specific edge. So you can select one edge of an object and uh, the the scale dimension as well. So if you just want to do 1D and click that entire uh, object or that entire edge, it'll start to just scale that one dimension or uh, two dimensions as well. You select 2D. I guess with a uh, an edge, it, it's only uh, one dimensional anyhow. But you can do a, a face or two edges or four edges. And then the last scale command is scale non-uniform and that's if you want to scale one object in one command uh, with different different scale factors in the three axes so select this object I'll select my origin point is right here and then an X reference point so I'll just do the end of it and then I can say you know, I'll just put in two for the scale factor of two and uh, a Z reference point you can put in 0.5 it'll smush it down to half that or uh, and so forth so you can do those three axes non-uniformly with that command so that's it we learned about the move command rotate copy and all of its different abilities to copy and the different scale functions so I hope you learned something. Enjoy.